on this fifth Sunday of Lent, we come together gathering our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with each of you. Standing before God's Word, gathered before the altar, we are mindful of our frailty, our weakness, and our sin, and we ask God for mercy and forgiveness. Renew within me. Cast me not 
the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> cell phones would they have taken selfies we know that Greek culture in Jesus time idolized philosophers and philosophies about the meaning of life yet these Greeks came to a Jewish Passover looking for Jesus Jesus was not a philosopher no one would compare him to Plato or Aristotle he spoke mostly in parables and used the language and the symbols of the ordinary listener. So why do we cling on his every word? It was not what he said, it was who he was. That is why those words spoken by the Greeks to the disciple Philip are so important. Sir, we would like to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. We long to be in his presence. We want to experience him for ourselves. We want to assure ourselves that he is real, 
that he is resurrected. We want to know him as Savior and friend. Many people suffer from a sense of meaninglessness, that their life feels like a train, constantly moving but going nowhere. Something is missing in their lives. Some are life tight. We need something to give our lives not only meaning, but vitality. It has to do with inner emptiness. What we need is a new heart, <laughs> the heart that Jeremiah spoke of, a heart that only seeing Jesus can give. Jesus came to show us that we can live with God, no matter how much of a disaster our lives may seem to be, there is one who offers us more grace, more peace, more love than we could ever exhaust. Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Through the eyes of faith, we can see him in our midst. He is here. He is available to us today. Let us take new hope, new courage. Let us commit ourselves anew to his work. Christianity is not a philosophy Jesus came to teach. It is a life Jesus came to impart. Will we receive the life that he has to give us? I hope so. Amen. Let us now make our profession of faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Standing now before the Lord, let us express some of our needs by our prayer of the faith. Church, that all the people of God may know the Lord through the, through the law of love written in their hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, for government and business leaders, that God will inspire them to develop and implement policies that are just and compassionate, bringing hope to all who suffer. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those oppressed, for in need, for victims of racial discrimination, that they may know the justice and equal treatment in the workplace and in our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of the local community, that educators, medical professionals, engineers, and others with special skills may use their gifts for the benefit of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Christian assembly, that those hoping to see Jesus may find the Son of Man glorified among us in our Lenten celebration and services, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who await mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual healing, that God's grace may touch them and bring them healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the departed may rejoice as they are called into fellowship with Christ, including Father Robert Sickleton, Singlin, priest of the Archdiocese of Detroit, serving in Brazil, we, and Meta Slater, wife of the late Robert Slater. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are united with our family of faith. Together we pray for the following intentions. 
Helen Sassicio, Anthony and Carmela Michael, Peter Vitali, Ivalo Decker Van Dam, Frank Timmons, Lorraine Radowitz, Giovanni Capoluccio. For them we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, may we come to know in a very personal way your Son Jesus the Christ, in whose name we pray, for he lives now with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our loving and delighted Creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and for the praise and glory that he, for our good and the good of all, this holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in us, your servants, the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify us by the offering of this sacrifice. We offer this and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of our hearts that free from sin we may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as together we sing.
By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this memory of me. The mystery of We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the folds of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the clergy, religious, and the entire people your Son has put before you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Hope, her husband Joseph, with the apostles, St. Germain, St. Gertrude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may go as we turn to life and may grace and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our day, so that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessing and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, as you say to us, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have shared in this Eucharistic communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Next Sunday, March 28th, is Palm Sunday. Then this marks the beginning of Holy Week. As I reflected in my article last week, what a difference a year makes. Last year we saw all the services of Holy Week and Easter performed without the congregation. As I also mentioned in last week's article, it was eerie to conduct those services with just Lecter, Cantor, David and Susie Taylor, and Malin Taylor, who was videoing them on her cell phone. I'm happy that I can invite you to participate in person this Holy Week. However, precautions must still be observed. Social distancing of seating, face coverings, and sanitizing are still in effect. Some of the ceremonies of the liturgies will be curtailed or eliminated for this year. There will be no procession with palms on Palm Sunday. Deacon Len and I will conduct a brief ceremony at the beginning of each Mass. The palms will be on a table as you enter church. You touch it, you take it. On Holy Thursday, the Mass will be at 7 o'clock p.m., and there will be no washing of feet and no procession with the Blessed Sacrament at the conclusion of Mass. However, there will be socially distant seating for private prayer in front of the altar of repose. On Good Friday, the solemn liturgy begins at 1 o'clock p.m. For the veneration of the cross, you are asked not to touch or kiss the crucifix. Instead, you are invited to bow or make the sign of the cross at a distance from the crucifix. The stations of the cross will be prayed at 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in church, and there will be not be stations in the evening. There will not be a person there will not be an in-person blessing of food on Holy Saturday. You can share the video ceremony. For the Easter Vigil, which will begin at 8 o'clock p.m. on Saturday evening, there will not be a new fire and a gathering of the RCIA at the doors of the church. There will not be individual candles for the congregation because that would require you to blow them out. We will begin with me blessing the new Easter candle near the altar and then singing the exalted from the altar. The congregation will not be invited to join in the singing. There will not be a reception afterwards when we would customarily welcome those newly initiated at the vigil. 
On Easter Sunday, Masses will be celebrated at 8.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and at noon. Although somewhat curtailed, I am so glad to be able to invite you to participate in this year's Holy Week liturgies, entering into the saving mystery of our Lord's suffering, death, and resurrection. And I would encourage you to uh, participate in Sunday afternoons, this Sunday afternoon's performances of The Veil is Torn. Uh, the performances will be at 2 o'clock and then 4 o'clock p.m. It's about a half an hour long and will feature the handbell choir as well as the adult theater company and the cantor and myself narrating. We had the rehearsal for it on Thursday evening, and uh, it will be a wonderful way, moving way, to enter into the Holy Week. Because of the pandemic, we are not able to have the vicarious sponsored communal penance services, but I will be available myself for individual confession this coming Thursday, March 25th, from 12.30 until 2 o'clock p.m. in the Parish Center Chapel. Bless the Lord your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive by your generous gift. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God continue to bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen.